In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I became the champion in my Pokemon Isle of Armor, Crown Tundra, Nuzlocke. What is up, people? It is Radar from Radar Fusion. And guess what? In order to catch Calyrex, I have to become the champion, so... <laughs> I have to... Yeah, I have to go to the Pokemon League, beat up some people, and deal with the Darkest Day events. So, I regroup with Hop and Ryan, and Hop and I decide to take the train, the choo choo train, the train in Galar, and make our way to the London and Pokemon re in this Pokemon region. Well, widen. I mean, widen? Why, why did I say widen? I mean, oh, wait, is that? Is it a widen? Widen. Yeah, that, I think that's the right name. <laughs> I'm really confused. So, after looking through our phones, look at the news, I make my way to Route 10 and accidentally uh, run into a bear tick by accident. Yeah. But, no, it's luck rules. I have to catch it. But, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, Bear Tick is a pretty powerful Pokemon. And when I go for the Ultra Ball, I actually manage to get a critical capture rate, which basically uh, happens more often the more you fill in your Pokédex. So I catch it and name it, uh, name this female Bear Tick Monica. I wanted to put in the last name, but I accidentally hit the OK button. But anyway, so once we get to Widen, we then take on our first opponent, opponent in the Pokemon League. Sorry, clearly I cannot speak today. So we take on Marnie. Now Marnie has a full team of Dark Types, and she's also added a Grimace Snarl onto her team. But having the big brain, we came prepared. So she sent out Lyperd, her first Pokemon, yeah. and then I sent out Daredevil. And first impression destroys Lyperd in one shot. I mean, first impression always goes first. I try going to use Guillotine to take out more Pico, but it keeps going for Spark, and Guillotine keeps missing. So. That means I have to switch, and who do I switch into? I switched into Iron Patriot and take out more Pico with the one shot. He crashed. Roasted, baby! Dazzling Gleam takes out her Scrafty. Quad super effective. I tried going for Water Spout on her Toxicroak, but Dry Skin ability prevents me from doing that, so I have to switch back into Iron Patriot. Toxicroak manages to land a su uh, uh, effective Sucker Punch, but. He crash destroys Toxicroak, probably because of the Dry Skin ability. I mean, Dry Skin also increases damage taken from Fire type moves, and Max Steel Spike is powerful enough to one shot her G Max Grimace Snarl. Marnie done. Now we move on to Leon's brother Hop. Now Hop, I mean, he has two normal types, and he's also got a Flying Steel type. So I mean, but Iron Patriot makes quick work of both his double. And not only double, but his Snorlax by taking him out with Dynamic Punch. And I send in Iron Man to deal with his Corf Knight who one-shots it with Zap Cannon. Bam! Wow. Alright, his Perkerchen, I think is what it's called, comes out next. And it goes down to a single Heat Crash. Bye-bye. Then, Max Overgrown takes out a starter Pokemon. It's super effective and also we're over-leveled. I mean, it is, was that 49, was it? <laughs> Yeah, it goes down. That's Hop out of the way. Man, sorry about that, Hop, but... Yeah, you learn, I mean... And next, we have to deal with Macrocosmos, which is a... I have no idea who these people are, so... I have to take care of them, and apparently they use Steel-type Pokemon, which are really weak to Fire, Ground, and Fighting-type attacks. So, if you're thinking I have the type match... Uh, I use type <laughs> advantage? You would be correct. I literally destroy his, this guy's Meowth, his Durant, his uh, Mawile, moving on to Excadrill, his Fero Seed, and along with his Steelix, that big Steel Snake Pokemon. Then we make our way to Rose Tower, which we are warmly welcomed by a guy with a Durant. We gain a level from that, and then we have to take on the staff members while we're riding the elevator. Kind of unsafe in normal life situations, but like the other two people, the, the the staff members here, they're, they are complete weaklings, and they are totally dis demolished by me and Hop. I mean, I did not know his do Hop stuff will have reversal, but... Moving on, we have to deal with Olina, who's a bit of a crazy lady. See that crazy face? She is a nutcase. Crazy nutcase, I tell ya. And she has a Frostlust, a Zornus, Lazzle, Milotic, and her Garbodor, which can end Gigantamax, but... I switched up the team before we battled her, so that we would have type advantage. Frostless goes down to a single flamethrower. Gantine, being the one hit KO move, takes out Milotic. Her Thalassal goes down to Water Spout from Justice. 
Serena goes down to a fire blast. And Garboder, Iron Man once again gets the one hit KO. Moving on back to the Pokemon League, we have to deal with B, who suddenly interrupts, but we make him pay by uh, one hit KOing all of his Pokemon. Like, I literally, every last one of them, gone. They get taken out. Even his Gigantamax Hatterene. Yeah, fairy types, weak to steel and other stuff. So, uh, yeah, Nessa faces a similar fate. We take out her um, Glycopod, her Barrascuda. Moving on to her Sea King, Polyper actually manages to avoid our Zap Cannon and manages to set up a Tell Aelwyn, which increases its speed. Uh, and the Pokemon Nessa sends out next will also get a speed boost, but we go for Zap Cannon again. She manages to confuse me with Water Pulse, but Iron Man, being intelligent as it is, it manages to fight the confusion get good accuracy, and Zap Cannon's the third brain. Her, her, her Dreadnought may just move first, but it does nothing. Literally nothing. Although it does lower our, stul our, our special defense, we literally destroy it with the Max Overgrown. Bye-bye, Nessa. It was nice knowing ya. But anyways, we then move on to Alistair. Quicksilver is Alistair's works a nightmare because it one-shots his Dusknor. Uh, Marina, t I think is what I named it. Uh, we also one-shot, we one-shot, basically we one-shot every last single one of his ghosts. Even his Gigantamax Gengar. Yeah, Quicksilver, I'm glad I got ya. Moving on to our final opponent, uh, Raihan. He is also mostly a one-shot. I mean, his Torkoal and Dutra go down one hit, but his um, you know, Turtonator keeps trying to use Shell Trap, but we don't have any physical moves on Justice, so Shell Trap won't work. Moving on to Flygon, who's also a one shot. And then finally, we have the big uh, Tower uh, Duraludon, who goes down in two hits. Yeah, and then after that, Chairman Rosa Sides don't waste the darkest day, so we have to do something about this mess. I make my way back to Slumbering Wheel where I catch a Scatterbug, which I nicknamed Vision after the superhero Vision. And after that, we have to battle Chairman Rose himself. Now, he uses Steel type Pokemon like his workers do. I mean, Chairman, it wouldn't be nice to be in like but Olymp oh, your assistant Olena and use like a different variety of, di of Pokemon, but yeah, that's not the case. But. Gives us a total advantage as we one shot his Escavalier, his Clink Clang, his Therothal, his Berserker, and even his big elephant, Kabaraja. Bye bye. Then we have to deal with the monster he let out, Eternatus, Dragon and Poison typing, and it does have pretty powerful moves like. You can use Ice or Steel type Pokemon on this thing because it has the move Flamethrower, which is super effective. So, good thing I went back to the Pokemon Center before I faced it. And Iron Paint right now knows Earthquake. It does manage to land a Dynamax Cannon, which it does a pretty good amount of damage, but not good enough to take it out. And yeah, we managed to one shot with Earthquake. Sorry, I, I'm a bit mumbly on my speech today. All right, here we go. And Eternamax Eternatus, we got the legendary dogs. You can guess how this went. I didn't lose any Pokemon and we managed to catch it and I nickname it Thanos because it's kind of like Thanos. I mean, it's it can it can be a killer. And well, yeah, I call it a, a friend ball. After that, we have to face against the champion himself, Hop's brother. The champion of Galar, Leon. No, he's a pretty scary team. He has Aegislash, he has Seismitoad, he has Cinderace, Dragapult, Hugsaurus, and his Charizard. So, that's a pretty dead team. So, after using some items for the first three turns, I take out his Aegislash with a single Earthquake. I didn't think we were going to outspeed it there, but not only did we get a super effective hit, we also get a critical hit, too. <laughs> Friendship, it pays off. That's why I do, I make my Pokemon bond with me, so. 
I mean, gotta do something to give me advantage. So, Science Mateo comes out next, and Hulk absolutely destroys it. Next is Cinderace, which can only damage us with acrobatics. And, well, after healing other Pokemon in my party, I take it out with a single Water Sprout. And next out comes his Dragapult, which manages to land a Flamethrower on me, but Playra... Let's just say... It goes down, and Iron Tail from Hugsworth, that, that, that got me worried a bit there, but we, we, we I equipped my Pokemon with Citrus Berries to heal us up, so we would be in the clear zone. Next up, we did play rough, and boom! Next is his Charizard. It, Charizard is pretty deadly because it knows a Grass-type move, a Rock-type move, an air, a Flying-type move, and a Fire-type move, so it can be pretty dangerous. Those moves are Solar Beam, Ancient Power, Fire Blast and Air Slash. So, yeah, it could be pretty threatening. So, I switch into Iron Patriot, knowing that, I mean, it can't use max, uh, it, it can't use its, uh, its max airstream or max, or G Max Wildfire because we resist those. But it can use max overgrown, which will be super effective. And, yeah, max rough fall, that won't be very effective. So, it goes for max overgrown. Which does a pretty good amount of damage, like, I would say, like, maybe almost a third of my health. It sets up for grassy terrain. However, little does Leon know. I taught... Yeah, see that? That's right. Electric-type move, I taught it. Thunder Punch. Oh, and Charizard barely lives. But we also set up the electric terrain, which boosts the power of electric-type moves. And we also get rid of the grassy terrain. Now, I was worried that Leon would probably go for another attack, but... I decided to take the risk anyway, and but Leon actually goes for a full restore, I forgot they used items like that, and Charizard gets up to full health, but seeing that we have the electric terrain set up, we actually yeah. managed to one-shot his dragon, yep, that's right, one-shot, one-shot, uh-huh, at full health, <laughs> and just like that, we are now the champions of Galar. I mean, I'm the champion of Galar. I'm not the champions. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, my Pokemon are champions too now. So, yeah. Now, hopefully, I can capture Calyrex. I don't know. They have to. Um. Well, yeah. So, this video took a lot of effort and time to make and record. So, it'd be much appreciated if you guys drop a like. Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to check out the videos that are coming up on screen. See you guys later.